Hello and welcome. We're going to try something a little different. We're going to try it in vertical mode with a small screen gap. It's a little bit funky still because there's that space right there and it makes everyone squished. But this might be a little bit more how you would view it if you were playing the DS. Um, I don't know. It's a little bit weird for me and I have a lot of negative space I have to contend with instead of having it bigger and having them side by side. So, eh, I might decide I don't like this format. And I'll just go back to having the bigger screens. But, yeah, because when I look at the doors like that, I just, it gets jarring, you know? And if you have the bigger screen gap, it's even more jarring. But if you have no screen gap, it's really funky. So, at least there's a little bit of space there. It just, yeah. Anyway, we have to figure out how to make this bitch innocent. Um... Which is stupid because we could have stopped it to begin with because we're invisible but not intangible. No oh, Carver, where could you be? I'm right here, bitch. Wrong house. Um, which house was it? Wasn't the church? And it wasn't obviously this house. And that's the prison. I don't think I can talk to her because she's with the chest. They put her with the supplies. I want to go in there. I want to get some supplies. You bitch, you were the one. Haha, ha, there's no one left. She's all mine. That little witch. No, it rhymes with witch, though. Um, I don't know exactly what to do to solve this little problem. Um... Are these guys nice as a casino? Anyone over here? Nope. No cutscene this time. Nothing over here, probably. Oh, wait a minute. I know who that is. Yeah. Hello? Yes, you. I'm, spe I'm not speaking to myself, you know. I've been waiting for you. I'm Millie. Can You can hear me, can't you? No. <laughs> you seem a little disoriented, perhaps, because I can see you. If you're wondering why I'm the only one who can see you, then I can enlighten you, but you'll have to come with me. I'm waiting for you outside of town. She had that epic hair that I just couldn't place. It's like it's either hair or... Yeah, if this could get any weirder around here. Of course... I guess we got no choice but to follow her. What else are we gonna do? We should stop by the fir church first, and I don't know why, but I just have a feeling this is the right thing to do. Oh, the game is telling you to save! The game is telling you to save. You know what? Fine, I'll fucking save. Just for you. I don't think I like the screen this way. I'm, I'm, I'm already starting to hate it, but... Whatever. Uh, I don't want to start... Oh, I feel a warm presence. Well, whatever ghost you are, why don't you, um... Why don't you save? Why, yes! I have four hours of play, almost. For 11 episodes. That's 220 minutes. No, it's, um... Yeah, uh, yeah. And, well, that's... Only two hours and... Well, two hours is 120 minutes, and three hours is 180 minutes, so... It's getting pretty close. I've only done a little bit of grinding off-camera. Alright then, please follow me. Well, who said you could lead my horse? Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Alright. Sorry for that little sound on the mic. I had, a, I had a hair on it, and it was really annoying me because I could see it at the bottom of my eyes. I was just bit pissing me off. Here we are. Oh, it's uh, Pamela. Millie, you're back. Mm-hmm. No surprising one who sees all. Yes, the crystal did speak of your return and your success. Yes, Madam Luca. Okay, it's Luca. I found them. It was exactly like you said it would be. I'm introduce you to Luca, Luminista, Dream Seer, who's been looking forward to meeting you. Mm-hmm, and for quite some time. You two are Zen and Carver, yes? Ah, he. Ha, he. Ha, he. Was she a goat? A, a mule? Don't be looking so stunned, you boys. You must be wondering why Millie and Madame Luca can see you, yes? Or perhaps you pawn away everyone else in this world cannot. Poor little lambs, you must be positively perplexed. No. 
Regardless, you simply want to get on with your mission. Mm-hmm. That's it. You've been sent to search for Ra's mirror on the orders of King Somnus of Samonia. Well, you will never accomplish anything if you look like nothing, hee <laughs> hee. After all, you must be seen and heard in order to buy a ferry ticket. But you must have patience, little lambs. Preparation must be made, and fate runs on its own schedule. So for now, let us be calling it a day. Just because Madame Luca has dreams here doesn't mean she can sleep on the job. <clears throat> the rest could wait until tomorrow. Speaking of rest, good night. While you were sleeping, she did a lot of weird stuff to you. <sighs> yeah, you up yet? How can you sleep in at a time like this? That lady gives me the willies. Guess we'll have to hear her out, though. It's not like there's anyone else we can turn to. Yeah, there is. Hey, cool! A seat of magic. Now there's shit in here. What luck! A Lucida shard. Whatever that does, it's a key item. There's a book entitled The Aromatic Dream Seer. A strange and slightly alarming pong fills the room. Pong. Pong? Anyway, so you open the book and it shit comes out of it. It's just. Alright. Hi! I had a good sleep, but I'm good at everything. I bet you are. Well, she rises with the sun to tell you folks, waste the day in bed. Wisdom comes with age, yes. Anyway, enough of lectures from old book Sometimes you have things to do and people to see. And you need to get go anything done. And you need to be seen. Mm, sure. Requires a substance known as Dream Dew. Madame Luca often uses Dream Dew in her work, but her supplies are low. The only place to acquire more is in a little cave to the south. I was gonna go there! It's infested with monsters. So, why don't you go there? Oh no, I'm not falling for another of these back scratching schemes. You're not the boss of me, lady. Ah, but it's not Madame Luca who has given the orders here. It's the Dream Crystal. Madame Luca just works here. Also, you need the Dream Dew just as much as Madame Luca does. You scratch Madame Luca's back, as you say, and she will make yours visible. Ha he! So it makes sense, sure. You make your minds for Madame Luca. You will travel to the south and get some dew. Don't be afraid. Luca will give you back up. It will be Millie. I get ten medicinal herbs. Travel safely. Well, thank you. Let's go. I can have friends. Oh, I don't get the music. Dude, I want to solve that problem with that bitch poisoning Mr. Barkington. I don't even care about the dog. Alright. That's okay. These guys will be... I can't control Millie, it looks like. She just kind of does her own thing. Which is a shame, because she's going to waste all of her magic points. Leveling up is so cute! Zen goes to 12 and gets no style. She has a level, level 5. Will she gain levels? Even as a guest character? Maybe she's not a guest character. Maybe she does stuff. Like, like she'll become permanent. We had three characters last time in our party. We'll get four this time, and we're obviously going to get monsters. Well, maybe not obviously. Maybe we're just going to get more people. How did my boomerang miss? I don't know, but I leveled up and it was so cute. You have no reason to be here. <laughs> Ugh. Well. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not sure I dig the battle music, but I mean, it's, it's 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 not like it's bad or anything. Okay, he does four damage with his claws. I do one damage with my boomerang. I'm glad I found those. I can find chests. It's a wing of wyvern, or a chimera wing, as they're now called. In all remakes, they were called wings of wyvern forever. Stop wasting your magic points, Ho. I always said you could do that. You're gonna run out and be useless. Carver goes to level 11. She's not leveling up. Probably because she can't. Dun -dun 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 -dun. 
a couple of bibbles, a couple slimes. Well, babbles and bibbles and all that good stuff. Good. We got this. Um, I want to get all the treasure, obviously. All right, these baby goils. I've got, I've got a mug of, of Gatorade powder mix that goes in hot water next to me. Well, the mix itself, I've got it mixed up and I'm sipping it. Had a problem last time and I just, I couldn't talk very well because as my throat was so dry. She's not leveling up. Alright, these are dead ends, right? Uh-huh. Oh, Slime Knights. They haven't changed in name. Stop buffing me. I've got herbs, man. He casts Sizz. You should have poked at him. I mean, instead, you buff. I'm not happy. Alright, well, Millie's got some low attack. She's virtually useless. It's okay. A couple more damage points. And, oh, that's where this leads. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. Aha, chest! See? Told you. Fight the baby goyles. Stop healing me. Alright, I'm gonna use herbs so she doesn't have the urge to throw magic at me. Because I can kill this thing. Really easy. Oh, stop it! They gave me ten herbs for the trip. Here, let's use them. And get you to stop wasting spell ma spell points. There. That should do it for you. That should do it for you. And that should do it for me. Except, well, mostly. Millie doesn't have anything to say here. Well, we found... Bass, but that bag looks like a smiley face. It just does. Alright, well, we've got hornets. I should have been able to come in here for break sequence and get the dew. That way, when she goes, I need some dew, and what? You found some? You're paralyzed. Haha. -ha. Of course, I don't have any um, moon warp bulbs. Oh, but paralyzation cures after combat, so. Yay. I want to find more chests. Slime Knights! A Slime Knight was always a solid choice for a monster companion. They go to level 99, they've got good armor and weapons to choose from, and they've got a good array of spells. They're basically like a mini hero. Although, specialized monsters were far better. But the Slime Knight was certainly a jack of all trades. I can't rotate the map, actually, in this. I guess that would make it too easy. You're not going to say anything about all this fungus? Looks like fungus. Yeah, mineral deposits, fungus. Um, we'll just make sure I don't miss anything. I'm looking around. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, it's one of these mineral caves. Stalagmites. A few stalactites, maybe? I don't see any. They're all stalagmites. Oh, there's a stalactite. Okay. There's a chest! Oh, of course I would get attacked. By baby goyles. I can't kill all of them. And, oh, there's the Sizz spell. Carver's got the lowest magical defense, not surprisingly. It'd be cool if people who had low magic could offset that by high magic defense gear. And sometimes they do, like dragon gear and stuff, but most times they can't. They just take it up the ass with magic. A bronze knife, seriously? This is about as useless as it gets. Where are you at? Well, she's not a permanent party member because I can't equip her. So. And she's not leveling up. She's got pretty decent HP and MP, though, for level 5. She probably could have came down here on her own and gotten it. She's gonna buff. Isn't she? Yes. What a waste. 
You should be able to control temporaries. They just, they're just so stupid sometimes. Stuff you would never do on your own, you know? Yeah, let's just throw all this useless magic out when herbs will solve all of our HP problems. She's designed to lose all of her MP before the boss. Why? There's probably not a boss in this game. Uh, Dragon Quest is not boss heavy. It's. which is a good thing because Final Fantasy is all about, ooh, where's the boss of this cave? And it gets old after a while. I found a fur cape. Is it an accessory or actually armor? Uh, defense armor. Armor! Fuck your British translations, man. Alright, well, it looks like it's better in all ways. He still has 51 defense, and I have 50. This actually will put me higher. Um, puts me higher than... Okay, well, it, it's actually better than the scale armor. Well, I'm gonna check the scale armor. Doesn't appear to have any magical effects. Yeah. It doesn't say anything about it in this description that um, it will stop anything. Like, resist fire or something. Now my defense is actually higher than Carver's. So the next good item I get, I'll give to him. It took me a while to get up this far. He has naturally high physical defense, which is kind of cool. Millie attacks! You and your epic hair. She's rocking these really, really weird ponytails. I just can't get over them, man. I just... Yep. Okay, there's a boss in here. I don't... Where's my herbies? Uh... Eleven. Okay, there we go. You know, just because herbs are cheap. Might as well max out. I don't think she needs any. Ah, she's good. Ah, uh, so tasty, so tasty. These drops are delicious. Um, num, 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 num. Oh, bitch, oh, who are you? You want to swig the drops too? Yes. These drops are so tasty, I don't think I want to share them. In fact, I'd rather have a nice snack to go with them. You guys look tasty enough. Let me have a bite. Chomp. Yep. I knew he was this type of monster. We can deal with this. Oh, you're gonna buff me? I could deal with this guy simply with herbs, man. Oh, he's gonna buff himself. Okay, this is where your sap comes in handy. This is where you finally do your shit. I critted. Crits usually ignore defense, don't they? Usually. Don't you have sap, Millie? Or is it gonna wear off in three rounds, like later iterations? Oh, here he goes, he buffs again. We're not gonna be able to do any damage to him anymore. Carver's doing some. I'm just gonna have to wait it out. My boomerang does nothing. Whips his tail. 20 damage. Oh. Uh, since I can't do any damage anyway, I'm gonna use an item. I'm gonna use a weed on Carver. Oh shit, he's dazzled? That means he's surrounded, so the chances for him to miss are higher. And that's not good, because he's the only one who can attack! Well, 9 damage, there you go. Um, there. Okay, you threw a buff spell at me. 10 damage, Blood Creeper attacks. I don't think my hero has sap, does he? I do have sap. Well, what do you know? There you go. I almost forgot he had it. Now he's back to normal defense. In fact, I'm gonna do it twice more. Close your eyes, Carver. God. Alright, there you go. And we're gonna sap you one more time. Obviously, he buffed. Alright, well, whatever. Now I gotta try it one more time. Maybe he won't cast it. Magic sap. Ow. 
Ah, there we go. Okay, he's gonna sap me now. Mm, okay, there's some damage. Let's see if I can sap him again. I need some healing, so I'll throw an herb out there next time. Not affected. Okay, he's probably as low as he's gonna get. 260 EXP. We probably leveled up. Nope. We just got some gold. A glittering pearl colored liquid fills the font. Sen acquires some Dream Dew. Sen places the Dream Dew in the bag. Looks dreamy, alright. Well, there's no point in staying here any longer. Let's head back. Uh, can I get out of here? I have Zoom, but I don't have outside. And I don't have any items that, that cast outside, like escapes or something. Okay, the pretty Betsy can be put in the bag for now. Yeah, there are no items that cast outside, I don't think. Not that I would have any. Millie's not going to say anything about that battle. Well, on the plus side, we probably will have an easier time getting out than coming in, because I don't have to explore for tre chest this time, and a metal slime, which we're not going to fight and kill at all. Alright, well, this episode's getting pretty long, so I'm going to call it here, and when we come back, we'll go do what we're supposed to do.